bonus round, bonus <laughs> video. We're going to do autocomplete hacking, and I, you know, I, I had a spare hour in my day to go hack browsers again, and I did hacking autocomplete in browsers. What was it like two years ago now? And you know, I had to rip out passwords and people's names, and I was doing keystroke simulation. So I wanted to go back in the browsers, particularly Safari and Chrome, to see what if they fix if anything. So I'm going to screencast right here. I'm going to walk you through this stuff. So uh, what I built last night, and I make no claim that any of this is new. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you autocomplete. So you guys have all experienced this behavior. So it makes it nice. So when you start to type in your name, it goes, oh, I know who you are. Why don't you autofill your contact details? What's different about Safari is it actually pulls your autofill information from your from your address book, from your contacts application, so right out of there. So it really doesn't matter if you've typed in your name into the browser before because this is on by default. Now I'm going to clear out my console here and do an autocomplete. So this is how it's supposed to work. This is the experience. It pulls up your information and then it loads up and it autocompletes it. But if you notice here in the console, you'll see uh, my per uh, more information than just my name that it captured. You might ask me, well, how did it do that? Well. I, it's only because I made the other forms that are on the page that you don't see uh, invisible. <laughs> so I'm going to turn up the opacity. Let's see here. Turn up the opacity right here, and I'll show you how it works again. Type in autofill, and bang. You see all the autofill information goes right in. So anyway, I just want to show you. So that's Safari. It works the, nearly the same way in Chrome. Um, doesn't grab your birthday or your phone. I did your phone number, but not your birthday. And so it grabs it all. So autocomplete. You know, so right when you autocomplete, it actually takes everything. It just might be invisible on the screen. So I thought that was a pretty neat hack that doesn't seem like the browser vendors are going to fix. Just for anyone who doesn't get the visualization, that's actually JavaScript grabbing all that stuff out of those invisible forms and sending it back to the server. So and yeah, it can make you think that you're just giving them your name which is innocuous, but <clears throat> then there's all this other juicy stuff that they can grab at the same time. So you can see my the, the total amount of JavaScript foo I had to put in there to actually do that. So it was a whole 16 lines. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we can stop the screen record now. So you guys get the general idea.